Now the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verses 4 hapo ndio tutasoma siku ya leo na natumai utabarikiwa nataka ni weze kupeana neno fupi ambalo ni neno la revelation and I believe God is going to move in your life and there must be something that will happen in your life today in the name of Jesus. May this be, be a day for your miracle. I say may this day be a day when you will be changed. Ibada kama hizi ndiyo hubadilisha mtu. Unajua mi nilikuwa pasta ambaye anasumbuka alikuwa hana uwezo mwingi nilikuwa nikihubiri Mombasa napewa sadaka ya soda. Paka nikienda nyumbani na napatia mtoto alikuwa naitwa Q Quinton. Nilikuwa naishi ka nyumba nusu ni mawe huku wengine ni mbao Mombasa. Na kuelezea umuhimu wa ibada ibada zile nimepitia na kufanyiwa. So nilikuwa naenda kuhubiri mahali huna heshima. But I see what God has done to me over the years. Ibada hubadilisha maisha yako. You I am a good example that what ibada inaweza fanya. I'm a good example. Kutoka mahali tumetoka wazazi wangu walikuwa walevi, my father and my mother. Lakini zile ibada nimepelekwa kanisani nikafanyiwa Mimi sijai kunywa pombe. Na si kujipiga kifua. Ni ibada nilizo fanyiwa. Ata kuna wakati. Nilijua ibada ina nguvu. Kuna wakati kuna nyumba. Tuliko tumefanyiwa keateka. Kwa sababu ya umaskini. Hatuwezi lipa rent Nairobi. So kulikuwa na mama moja tajiri kanisa. Haka tuhurumia haka sema. Maana mmeshindu wakabisa kulipa rent. Nikona nyumba nilinunua na buwana yangu mahali. Nataa ni wapereke huko mua muna ikalisha. So tukaenda. So zi tukithani kazi yetu ni kukalisha. Kumbe ni tuka, tulime. <laughs> Wajua tukua tunafikiri tumefika kanan. So tukaenda tukafurahi. Wa tukapewa kasavant kuota. Yani mpaka ikona tiles. Atuko wa itumeishi nyumba ikona tiles. Nyumba nzuri mpaka ikona kitchen, maji, nini. Tuka ingia huko tukasema amen finally. Kanan. So tuka kana amani mzuri. Wiki katha. Kazi yetu ni kupiga tu round huko kushukuru mungu. Saturday moja mwenyewe akaja na majembe. Sasa akatuambia unaona hapa. Na nishamba kubwa ilikuwa kubwa. Eka moja na. Ile nusu mulime. Na mpande mahindi na maharagwe. Na minasirasha zikapeano huko tukirie. But anyway, tulianza kukiria mana utafanyaji na huna rent. Unajua na zamanga mbuzi ya kupewa hata kama haina meno. We chukua. Sasa mini lianza kanzi ya kuklini. Nika chukua, nika anza kuklini yo compound. Na kulima, nikitoka high school. Na lima jioni, kulima. Iri angarawa wakikuja next Saturday wapate tumelima lima. Tuzifukuzwe. Siku moja huyo mama, alikuwa miokoka lakini. Ni ile, unajua ile kukanyaga hapa na hapa. So analeta pate ile nyumba kubwa wamejenga hapo. Wana kuja na mapombe, wana imba huko. Mina angaliria kwa dirisha. Wakitoka wanasema ni clean. Ni, ni clean hiyo nyumba. So, ni kwa peki yangu kwa hiyo kinyumba. Mapombe zimeachua nusu nusu, zengine zimeja. Naenda ni kashika na nasema. Ah, wajoza hiyo una clean, unaangalia, angalia. Huko peki yako. Nasema, sinionje tu kidogo. Nisikia uwe inaonja vipi. Naleta na nusa. Yani unasikia kitu inakuambia don't do it. Ninaanza mpaka kutetemeka mikono. Yaani naingiwa na uoga na siku kunywa. Ni ya mini hivyo ni ya kuambia. Ujoku na mtu na zema. Kuna zae ugane waku udile modu. Zema ulikunywa. <laughs> Lakini ukweli wa mambo that one I can tell you the truth. I did not drink. Bada endi yonimekuja kujua, kujua nguvu ya ibada. Kufanyiwa ibada. Mimi my mama na niambia akiwa mlevi. Akiwa na hangover alinipereka kanisa ya IC. Akiwa sete kansu kule na, na nyahururu. Akona hangover kanipeana kwa, 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 kwa. Si unajua hizo kanisa ziko na ye, na madhabahu kubwa. So nilichukuliwa. Pasa haka nibeba hivi. Uyo mutoto nime, nime mpeana. Unajua kama Lion King. Usha yona Lion King vile kana. Wala washa yona Lion King. Nika inuliwa juu nika peana wa kwa mungu. Mpaka niko na kadi. Kadi ya dedication. Na maombi yale ya liomba ndiyo imefanya kazi kwa humu hili. This body. So tunapofanya ibada hapa uzidharau 
Hii baada itafanya disemba hauta kunywa pombe. Utaenda mahali mnaambua pewa. We unashika chupa inatetemeka hivi. Unasikia sauti ya pasta Ben we. We. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Utaenda mahali unataka kufanya usharati, unasikia uoga. Kwa sababu ya hizi ibada tunawafanyia hapa. Eh, hey, si amen. Kwa hivyo leo nataka kutangaza maisha yako lazima ibadilike. Na ibada hii sio ya kupoteza muda, ibada hii ni ya kuleta mato- tofauti kwenye mwili wako. Watu wengi wamepitia kupitia mafuta haya na nimeona mambo yale yanafanyika hapa town. Nitakuwa napeana testimony. Ni kuletea watu ambao wanasema vile maisha yao imebadilika. Kama leo asubuhi nilikuwa na watu wame, walikuwa wanakuja lunch wa hapa. Walikuwa transfer yao imekaliwa. Wamepata kazi mzuri sana na Robi lakini wale ambao ni wakubwa wamekataa kabisa ku implement hiyo transfer waingie kwa mahali ambao wanafaa kufanya kazi. Alikuja na barua hapa lanchawa wakiwa na bwana yake. Wakaniambia hiyo maneno hata siku nakumbuka ilikuwa ibada kama hii. Nikawaombea tuka declare mtu yoyote amekalia faida muka. Alikuwa ananiambia saa hii. Na kuambia wakaenda, ikafunguliwa wakaenda na robi mapesa zikawa mingi kwa hiyo kampuni. Sasa wakaniletea mapesa. So leo asubuhi nikuwa nimeletewa mapesa. Na mimi nikawambia mumeleta in the right time. Mafundi wamejaa huko kanisani. Niliwaonea huko. Kuna watu unaonea huko. Uonei hapa. Mana ukionea mtu mahali kuna hitaji. Anaona. Eh, amen. Kuna mtu alikuja kuniona hapo siku moja akaniambia nilikuwa nataka tu kukubariki. Ah, nilikuwa nataka niache sadaka elfu moja. Nikamwambia asante sana kwa chai. Nikamuombea akitoka kwa geti nikaona amerudisha gari nyuma. Vum. Akaniambia nikienda kutoka pale Mungu ameniniambia nitoe sadaka elfu moja. Nikamwambia leta leta wekele hapa. Hata cement tutaitisha saa hii. <laughs> eh, hey, hallelujah. Now, hebu angalie the book of Isaiah. Mungu ni Mungu ambaye huponya maisha ya mtu. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 4 inasema oh sinful nature a uh, nation a people laden with iniquity and a broad of evil doers children who are corruptors they have forsaken the lord they have forsaken the lord they have abandoned the lord ipatie king james version they have forsaken the lord they have provoked anger to the holy one of israel they have turned away backward Hii ndiyo inafanyikanga sometimes wa kristu wanagonjeka. Wana forsake mungu, wana provoke mungu na dhambi zao, and they walk backward. Wana rudi nyuma badale ya kuenda mbele. Na mungu anawambia mstari watano. Bible inasema verse 5, why should you be stricken again? You, have, you will revolt more and more. Mbona upigwe tena? Maana ukizidi kuhukumiwa, Ndivyo unazidi kuribel. The whole head is sick. The whole heart is faint. Ati vile ambavyo umepigwa kichwa kizima kimejaa vidonda. Nimewapiga viboko nyinyi Israeli. Paka mumejaa vidonda kwa kichwa, kwa moyo. Na bado hambadiliki. From the sole of your foot even to the head. There is no soundness in it. But wounds and bruises. Putrefying souls, they have not been closed or bound up or soothed with ornament oil. Kwa hivyo mungu wanajaribu kusema, kuna watu vile wanaishi maisha yao, wamegonjeka ugonjo wa kiroho, mpaka hakuna mahali unaeza pigwa. Mungu wanasema, hakuna mtu sasa amepatikana wakuponya vidonda vienu. Na vidonda vengine vina kuja kwenu, sio mungu, ni kujisababishia. Wengine uliingia relationship mbaya, wengine uliingia katika ka maisha mabaya ukaanzisha kazi mbaya siku moja nilikuwa naombea mtu ambaye nampenda sana lakini ana uzanga alianza ba na ameokoka hata nikipita hapo nikifanya evangelism aliniita nikaingia akaniambia hii ndio biashara yangu ombea na akafunga mlango mawaini zimejaa huko mawaini ma spirit mapombe nikamwambia are you serious akaniambia wewe ndio pastor wangu sema neno <laughs> Tunaoraga maneno hii dunia. Sasa nikapomeni sema neno gani? Niombe watu walewe zaidi. 
Sasa huwa sometimes sitangai kusema ni nani. Sometimes anakuja ananiambia. Nimeonewa sana, nimeingiliwa na kanjo, nimeingiliwa na polisi. Namwambia badilisha kazi. Change the work. Haufai kuendelea kufanya kazi kama hii. Hebu ukia jirani muulize na by the way unafanyanga kazi gani? <laughs> Unajua kuna kuna wadada alikuwa anaombea Nairobi. Alikuwa anaombea Nairobi. Wadada wazuri wanakuja lunch hour. Siku moja wakaja kuniona maana nilikuwa nataka tu tuwaingize ushering. So nikawa tukiwa kwa ofisi na wambia wajua nyi wa dada mmeshika lunch hour vizuri. Mnafaa we you. Wakaniambia pasta. Hebu acha na hiyo badala. Nikauliza kwa nini? Kwa nini? Wakaniambia kazi tunafanya si kazi mzuri. Na mmeokoka ndio. Ndio unaona tunakuja kanisani. Nikauliza kwa nini mnafanya kazi gani? Wakasema hiyo utajulia binguni. Na mimi nikamwambia unajua sasa mimi ni pasta. Na kama ni kuna siri unafaa upeane, pea pea pasta. Nikawasukuma kabisa. Finally mmoja yule rais akaniambia pasta, unataka kujua? Nikamwambia ya. Kumbe they are prostitutes. Na watu wameokoka. Naona church. Na baada ya hiyo ukimwona ameinua mikono. Leo mupewe customer. Amen. <laughs> oh my Hii dunia tuviona wanetu. Yaani ukiwa pasta unamwagia watu mafuta. Pokea customer. Unaona anatetemeka. Yes. Yes. Waliniambia wao ni Rahab yule wa Biblia. Huficha. Aya mimi nawaombea mupone katika jina la Yesu. Vidonda viondoke kwenye maisha yenu. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 22. Jeremiah chapter 8 verses 22. Bibilia inauliza is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Watu wangu ni wagonjwa. Mbona hawajapona? Nipatie another easier translation. Why is it that the daughter of my people is not recovered? Kwa hivyo Mungu anapendezwa na watu wakipona magonjwa ya kiroho. Kuna watu hapa huombi, uligonjeka. Hujaomba miaka mbili. Unasemanga tu wa father huwa in heaven hallowed be thy name unalala. Tukifunga wewe una, tukiinua mikono tunasema wangapi wanafunga unainua hata wewe. Na unajua kabisa. Ile kitu hukufanya ni chai huku kunywa. Lakini hizi vitu zengine zote umepita nazo. Wajua nilipoenda US kusoma huko, mimi nilishangaa wazungu. Wanaona wakisema I'm before God in fasting. Mimi nafikiri anani mwezi mitatu anaambia been fasting for three months. Oh, namuuliza wow, that's a long time. Namuuliza hey, three months lacking food. Anaambia no, I'm fasting from TV. <laughs> What? Fasting yao si kukosa chakula. Fasting yao ni kuacha kuona nini? Movie. Just I'm fasting. Na niliona pia wengine fasting yao ni kukosa ice cream. You know, I'm before the Lord fasting. I'm not eating sweet things. Nataka wakuje Afrika. Wajue vile tunafunga. Si kwanza mke wangu ana fasting zengine. Mi mwenyewe I don't do. My my wife who anagonga 3 day dry bila chakula, bila maji, ndio sasa aanze 21. Hey. Una na, na anaisha. Wacha niwaambie ukweli. Mimi pastor when <laughs> Mimi jai faja dry. Wajua afadhali kusema ukweli. Mr. Kikufa, unajua kuna <laughs> Unajua nimeona watu kadhaa wamekufa wakifunga. Bila ambianga Mungu, acha nihubiri. Uniruhusu nifunge vile na we Na sikuambii usifunge, usiende dry. Maana my wife na unanga mpaka macho yamekuwa white. Mimi domo inakauka na anasema hakunywi maji. Mimi nimefunga 40 days many times na maji lakini sijaifunga chakula na maji ati kukosa. Na najua kuna watu hapa ushaifanya dry fasting. And it is okay continue. Continue. Lakini uwe kiafu. Fanya nini? Continue na uwe kiafu. Kuna mzee rafiki yangu alitoka hapa Karura tukiwa na Robi hana meno imetoka mbili akaja kunisalimia nikamuuliza wote ananiambia nimekuwa mbele za Bwana. Nikamwambia meno eh imetoka nikifunga huko na Mungu atarudisha na ninarudi tena. Aliporudi tena kutoka 
akaja hana ingine akaambia sasa naamini niombewe meno ivaa nini sasa huwa nakutana naye na robi bado ni kibogoyo so ni vizuri muelewe pamoja na kufunga linda meno yako na afya yako si msema amen bible inasema there is no one who can heal my people is there no balm in gilead is there no physician there so why has the healing of my my what my daughters or my dear people not come about mbona watu wangu hawajapona mimi naomba mpone katika jina la Yesu. Inua mkono sema nitapona. Nita Wengine mko hapa uligonjeka hutoangi offering. Wengine uligonjeka mambo ya ndoa. Ushaipata mwanamke amegonjeka, amevumilia, amefika mahali sasa amegonjeka. Ana anakuambia hakuna mwanaume mzuri hii dunia. Hakuna. Hata nikihubiri hapa unani suspect. Unakaanga unaniangalia hivi unaona nakaa wale wanaume wamekupiga wamekuonea uligonjeka Kuna mwanamke anaamini wanaume wote ni mafisi ni wanyama and it is not true they are good men uligonjeka pona Si ugeukia mtu mwambie pona 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 na usikubali advice ya mtu mgonjwa Mwanamke mgonjwa atakuwa advice vibaya atakuambia wanaume hakuna mwanaume mzuri usiolewe kaa hivyo and they are very good men angalia vile wametulia huku wametulia wapo wapo wazuri hata kama tunageukanga kidogo tunakaa mnyama lakini Mungu anatutuliza wapo wanaume wazuri they are good men and they are good women wife materials are there so usikutuambia hapa ukiwa mwanaume ati hakuna mwanamke hii dunia walikwisha wako ni kugonjeka ume you are sick you should be treated and healed wahubiri wa kigonjeka wanasemanga tauni ya nakuru wa shirika ni bure hakuna mshirika kuna pasta moja rafiki yangu alifunga kanisa nikaenda kumuongelesha Nairobi nikamwambia si kwa nini unafunga kanisa siwe akaniambia e town ni mafefe nikamwambia ati hakuna watu hii watu yote mafefe tu hakuna mtu anaweza hubiria hii town mikora tupu Nikamwambia auta akaniambia sitaki mambo ya kanisa sitaki. Aliita watu mafefe. Mafefe ni ni dry maize zile zimesimama hivi. So kuna wahubiri waligonjeka na hii muji. Wanakuja wananiambia unavaa nini na rancha wa? Hawa watu hawatasikia. Alafu nasikia kikuhesabia kulikuwa na rancha wa ya nani ikakwisha. Kulikuwa na mhubiri alikuja hapa akahubiri mpaka watu walipanga laini ikakwisha pakaja mhubiri mwingine akaanza kwanza yeye alibeba viti akavipeleka nyumbani pakaja mwingine naye akahubiri sana saa hii hata hasikikangi sijui alienda wapi ni mhubiri amegonjeka hafai kuni advice nikisikiza mawaidha yake nitakosa kufuata sauti ya Bwana mimi si kuletwa hapa na sauti ya mtu nililetwa na sauti ya Mungu sifai kusikia vile watu wanasema nafaa nifuate hiyo sauti follow the voice Follow the voice. The book of Jeremiah 33 verse 6. Jeremiah 33 verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. And I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. That is the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 6. Behold, I will bring health and healing. Mungu anasema nitaleta afya na nitaleta uponyaji. And indeed I will heal them and I will let them experience the abundance of peace and truth. May the Lord heal the pastors who have been discouraged by coronavirus. May the Lord heal the members who have been discouraged and uh, they are sick because of the economic hardships. Kuna watu wamegonjeka kwa sababu ya kukosa pesa. Mimi siku hizi napatana na watu wengi sana nimefungiwa nyumba. Kwanza nimekutana na mtu ambaye ako na renti ya 1300 alikuwa ameniambia nimlipie nikamwambia sasa atanitaanzia wapi 1300 hey mimi siwezi subiri ifike hapo ya nyumba mimi naenda ya matope nafikiri kila mtu ameumbwa tofauti mimi wakati corona ilianza kupiga piga hapa mimi nilihama haraka sana nilikuwa nimewekwa kwa nyumba kazuri sana fast floor nilikuwa nachungulia watu hivi naona watoto wangu wakiendesha bike nyumba chini ilikuwa mbao paka natoa vidole vyangu nikitoka kesha vipumzike kwenye mbao hakuna baridi 
Wazee wa hii kanisa na kanisa walikuwa nanilipia rent ya 50,000. Na kaa vizuri sana. Corona ilipotokea. Nikaona watu wamepotea. <laughs> Nikafanya mahesabu 1 plus 1. Ai. Nikaambia mke wangu, unaona hii nyumba ya mbao? Anza kupaki vitu. Anza kupaki, anza kukunja vitu ukiziweka kwa makaton. Mwezi wa pili, I was out. Nikaenda kanyumba, nikaweka kitanda, watoto wakalia kitanda moja. Kwani watakufa? No, they can't die. Nikaweka kitanda moja, tukawa na rumu ingine moja, sote tunaogea bafu moja, na hiyo rumu ya watoto ikawa ndiyo kitchen. Na siku ambia, siku pika kerenia na hiyo, kasto kalikuwa hapo, nikakafagia fagia, hata kalikuwa ni kasto, hakajapigua plaster, kalikuwa ni mawe, nikaleta mtu wakasugua, sugua hayo mawe, hakaipaka kiria. Nikakafanya table room. Nani anajua naishi wapi? <laughs> Sasa ni wageni kwa heli na wakutana na wao town. Kwani unakuja kwa ngufaa nini? Mi sikuji kwako. Kila mtu wakae kwake. Everybody wakae kwake. Hata leo usikuje kwa ngu. I don't want you to come. Stay in your place. Nilisikia wa mama wakisema wanataa kunitembere. Nika wambia wanitembere kanisani. Na nikaja hapo wakaniletea shopping. Wazee wakasema wanataa kunitembere ya church. Kwa ngu sitaki mtu. Mana utakuja useme ooi. Na mimi ni kihubiria watu 15. Si kuhubiri pesa. Nilihubiri yesu. Nikaangalia kamera. Throughout yo miezi. Watu wakiria rent. Mimi nimejifinya mahali. Si kukosa imani. Retreat is not surrender. is wisdom. Kurudi nyuma kidogo. Unajificha kidogo. Una adjust maisha. Haimanishi umeshindwa. It is a tactical retreat. Inaitangwa tactical retreat. Sasa nika focus pesa yote. Amo inapatikana. Ilipe hole. Nyumba ya mungu isiwa ifungwa. Na hii nyumba hejawa ifungwa. Lakini sasa kuniletea renti yako ya miezi sita. Hai. Mina ruka. Mina sikia mtu wakiniambia kona kakadi ya kulureizi pesa za rent. Nasemba nizawa tutakuja lakini siendi. Mana kama mimi niliondoka. Kwa nini weo usihame. Ushukishe maisha. Hata kuna vitu zangu mpaka leo ziko kwa roli ya, ga, ga, roli ya kanisa. Nilishindu kwa kuweka. Vitanda nini weka kwa roli. Haja tu ni roli na songa. Nani atafungua juwe hapo kuna mavitu. Na watoto wangu wako sawa. Na wanaendelea vizuri. Inaitua tactical retreat. Kufo kuna kitu naeza kuwa na kubu. Unalipa pesa mingi. Bara ushindo ukisumbua watu wa kulipie. Manuva. Ebuge ukia mtu muambie manuva. Paul anasema nilitengeneza hema. Nisiwe muzigo kwa watu. Nisirete aibu katika mambo ya injiri. Mbuna tulete aibu tunaomba pesa na kofia. Tukihubiri. Tuna, tunatisha watu hiyo gali itaanguka. Tunahubiri hapo. Nae. Jona akamezwa. Akamezwa na samaki. Lakini alipoomba samaki itikamtapika. Nisipo omba hapa munaeza mezwa. He? Mpaka ulikuwa umelala unamuka kwa hiyo matatu. Alafu wanasema na mutoe sadaka ya kutomezwa. Sasa hiyo maneno si mzuri sana. Inafanya injili kosewe heshima. Na sisemi musitoe sadaka kwa watu wanao hubiri kwa street. Mana hata mina hubiri ngi kwa street. Lakini tusirete aibu hiyo. It is wrong to beg. Hey, amen. Na mukiona muhubiri na hubiri vizuri. Bless that man of God. Without even him asking the offering. Situseme amen. Leo naomba mpone. Wale mmegonjeka mupone. Wale ambo mumeumizwa mioyo mupone. Wale mmeumizwa na mchungaji mupone. Sahi kuna watu wameumia sana maana pasta haku kuja maziko ya mama yako. Mi kuna mtu likutaa na ya kaniambia. Kaniza hako sita rudi tena. Kwa nini? Shua shua likufa na hata huku kuja. Nika mwambia sasa walikuwa na kufa wengi kwa sawa ya corona. Hata mi mwenye nikuwa na wakopa nisife. <laughs> we tuonge ukweli. Wakati ya corona wa ulienda maziko ngapi? Zilikuwa mingi, mingi kila mahali. Tunatumana tu condolences. Hata zarekali kui mezema watu wangapi. Ya waende. Na kwa zuzu yu mimi nazikana. Na kuja kufanya nini. Na tena kuna Facebook. Situone hapo. Oh. Halikuwa na watoto ine. Okay. 
Sasa kuna watu wamekuwazika na wachungaji. Wamekuwazika. Wacha kukuwazika pona. Geukia mtu muambia pona. Wacha kumuchukia pasta. Heal. May your heart heal. Hey, hallelujah. Kuna watu wanagonjeka na vile mchungaji anasema hapa mbele. Unagonjeka, unagonjeka. Pona. Mi naomba upone katika jina la Yesu. Mi hata wanaambia watu mizi mchungaji yule ana anaongea mambo mengi. Kuna ubiri wana tukananga hapa. Kama unaniangalia vipi hapa kama umena. Funga hiyo macho. Mi siongeangi hivyo. Na bado unakuwazika. Pona. Geukia mtu mwambie pona, 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 pona. Achana na mafupa, kula nyama. Maana muhubiri pia ni mwanadamu. Tusimame na miguu yetu. Leo ninaomba maisha ya watu tunapowapaka mafuta mkapone. Unaposimama anza kujiombea. Ambia Mungu mahali kama pesa zangu zimegonjeka zipone. Hali fulani nimeingia kwake kwa maisha yangu. Mungu naomba kupona. Lift up your hands and pray.